Hello, my name is Kung. Welcome to Cybernet channel. This video will show you where to download and how to install SSIS, SSAS, and SSRS. First, let's access the Microsoft document. Click the document link under the search box. Scroll down to see the SQL server, and click it. Click the download button. There are two free version developer and express. The developer version has full features of SQL Server. This is ideal for those who want to study and develop database with SQL Server. The options download media and custom are required to download the ISO file. The basic option is the quickest way to install SQL Server and the database engine. However, we also need to install other SQL Server services, so we select the download media option. It takes some time to complete downloading the file. The downloading is complete. Double clicking the ISO file will mount it on a drive. Double clicking the setup file will open SQL Server Installation Center. On the installation menu, click on the first link where you can add features to the current SQL Server. This is also where you can install a new SQL Server instance if haven't done so. There are two installation options. I have already had SQL Server installed in my system. Therefore, I opt for the second option. Check the Analysis Services and Integration Services checkboxes. You can also select any other services or features you need. However, there is no checkbox for the report services. The report service will be installed with another installer. I will show you after SSIS and SSAS are installed. Now the services are already on my system. Let's go back to SQL Server Installation Center to download Report Service Installer. Installing the report service is complete. Let's open the report service configuration manager. We need to create a database for the report service. Click the Change Database button to create a new one.
report services have been configured properly. It works properly. We open the SQL Server Management Studio to test connections to the services. First, let's check the report database. OK, it has been created. Now we test other services. The analysis works fine. The error says only administrators have access to the integration services service. Let's click and open it as administrator. The integration service works now. Now, we test connecting the report service. The report service may not be running. Let's open the report configuration manager. Click the start button. The report service is on now. We now can connect to the report service. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button under this video.